Hello, um, this is a continuation on um, paint, uh, do it yourself painting my own Mitsubishi with common spray can. And I also have clear coat and I will be buffing it once I'm finished. And I guarantee you, my spray can paint will look just as good as a industrial spray gun if not better as well as better than a factory finish if you actually go to a dealership and check out their factory finish cars um, you'll see little dimples not discoloration it'll be all uniform color but you see these little it won't be a mirror finish you won't be able to see you know, you'll see you'll see yourself in the reflection but you also see all these little tiny dimples now my finish, even though it's going to be with a spray can, is, isn't going to have that because I'm going to make sure that I wet sand my paint job down really good. I'm just going to do an on-site video. This is my back trunk. That is my a good look at my back bumper. As you can see, it's sanded down pretty good. This is all going to be black. I'm going to plexi coat. Um, which is this can, Plexa Dip, um, basically a plastic paint um, that when you spray it on, um, it's pretty durable and it can even last through a car wash. Um, my rims are actually painted with the Plexa Dip, um, and you know people tend to think that they might peel off, and those, my rims have been on there for a good six months with the Plexa Dip and they haven't been peeled off. You actually have to want to try to peel them off and actually peel, you know, go through the effort of peeling that plexative paint off. And uh, another good part about it is it does peel off. You know, once you go through the effort of trying to peel it off, if you don't like it, you can just peel it off and you know, do whatever you want from there. So um, this video, I'm just going to do a quick spray paint job on my back. Uh, trunk. Um, I don't have my back wheel covered, but um, probably should cover it. <laughs> I'm not too worried about the overspray because there's really um, all I'm going to do is just hit the spot that I need. Um, any scratches, I'm going to buff out with the compound. Um, I'm going to try not to get my rear tail light. And if I do get my rear tail light, I'm just going to wipe it off real quick. So it's going to be a quick spray video. I'm going to put a first heavy layer on and let it sit for about 15 minutes, wet sand it. Um, so, wet sand it, put another layer on, wet sand it, put another layer on, and then clear coat it. Um, probably wet sand that, clear coat, and then buff it out. Here's my first layer. I'm putting as heavy as I can a first layer. Because I, I will be wet sanding it later. This first layer, heavy first layer, is called a wet layer. my first layer. So far so good. Didn't really get any overspray in the tail light there. So, my first layer and I will be wet sanding that putting another layer on. I've already started the touch up work. They, as you've seen in my last video. And now that I have time after I painted that back trunk, I'm gonna I'm gonna wet sand the touch up areas. 
that I've touched up. Um, this front area being one of them. And we'll take it from there to be continued.